let's see how to solve this equation 4x. Now the good news is that this is actually very easy to solve, but in algebra this type of equation is a square root equation or a radical equation. This symbol right here is of course known as a square root symbol, but it's also known as a radical. So if you are taking any sort of algebra course, you probably have a chapter or unit called radical equations. All right, so let's talk about how to solve this equation for x. Now remember, x in algebra is a variable, and it simply represents a number. So the square root of some number is equal to the fraction 2 thirds. All right, so how do we solve for x? Well, anytime you have a square root equation, to solve that equation, all you have to do is square both sides of the equation. All right, so here we have the square root of x squared. Anytime you square a square root, the answer is going to be what's inside of the square root. So the square root of x squared is going to be equal to x. All right, so that's going to leave us with 2 thirds squared. And 2 thirds squared is what? Well, that's going to be 2 thirds times 2 thirds, which of course is going to be 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. All right, so x is equal to 4 ninths. Now, anytime you want to check an equation uh, in algebra, all you have to do is plug this solution back into the equation. Now, you always want to uh, check your solutions in a square root equation, all right? So the answer here is 4 ninths, or we think the answer is 4 ninths. So let's just go ahead and see if this works out. All right, so is the square root of 4 ninths equal to 2 thirds? Well, if it is, well, then 4 ninths is the correct answer. So to take the square root of a fraction in mathematics, what you can do is actually take the square root of both the individual numerator and denominator. So the square root of 4 over 9 is equal to the square root of 4 over the square root of 9. The square root of 4 is, of course, equal to 2, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So we can see that the square root of 4 ninths is indeed equal to 2 thirds, meaning that 4 ninths is a good solution.